so what it is actually csmscd so csmscd is a carrier sense multiple axis and collision detection uh, it's a method actually that will widely used in early uh, technologies in lands and there they will be using it and it is a bus topology on each node where connected by uh, cables so basically uh, it is uh, used now in can also so how it will work actually csmscd so in the step one what we will be doing it uh, check if the sender is ready for transmitting the data packet uh, second step would be check if the transmission link is idle or not third if uh, because see uh, sender has to keep checking if the transmission is a uh, link like bus is idle or not so for this it will continuously sense that uh, bus from the other nodes sender sends dummy data also on the link if it does not receive any collision signal this means that the link is idle that the bus is idle at the moment and it will sense that and uh, he if he will be thinking like uh, carrier is free and there will be no collision so it will send the data otherwise it will be uh, refrains from uh, sending the data and step 3 it will be transmit the data and check for collision and the sender transmit let's say for example sender is transmits its data on the link and uh, is does not use any acknowledgement system the csms cd will not use any acknowledgement system so it will check for successful and unsuccessful transmission through the collision signals only so during transmission if a collision signal is received by the node uh, so basically the transmission will be stopped and the station uh, then transmit a jam signal uh into the link basically and waits for the random time intervals before it will resend again the frame so after some random time it again attempts to transfer the data and repeats the above process so for example if you are sending the data it will first uh, send the uh, dummy frame it will check again whether the bus is free if we, if the dummy's uh, frame is not colliding it will send uh, it will uh, send the data the original data if it is colliding collision signal will be there if it is raising uh, then uh, we will have the sender will not send basically so if you see here on the screen i have one example node 1 node 2 and node 3 is there so if you see these three are sending out to the start of frame so if you see we have a dominant bit in the start of frame so all three are sending the dominant bit after that if you will see uh, 10th and 9th both are recessive bits so uh, uh, this is on uh, this is actually the bus and these three nodes are trying to send the data on the bus uh, so um, uh, if you see here okay uh, till this if you will see till eighth bit it's all are uh, dominant only so till this it will send now in node one if you see it's a recessive and he uh, it's a recessive it's a recessive and also it's a recessive so it will be uh, send but if you see the sixth bit six bit here it is recessive but both of them is dominant so what it will do uh, it will do the uh, logical and and one and zero as i shown you one zero will be zero uh, so every time the dominant will win the bus so uh, out of these two uh, now this is like it will be in listen only mode now it cannot send the data because uh, we have the uh, nodes which are dominant bits are present so lower the number higher will be the priority so this is the case so that's why we have zero so out of these two now who will win the bus we will see so as you can see uh, the node 2 is winning the bus because if you see in node 3 also it's a recessive bit only so it will go to listen only and it will have then control and data feed so basically it's like that uh, this is like csms so lower the number uh, higher will be the priority so this is the case and now i will tell you about uh, what are the errors in uh, can frame uh, like if you are uh, sending some data and uh, you are uh, facing any errors in like uh, uh, we have certain types of errors also in the can bus uh, so what we have like uh, uh, first is like can bit stuffing uh, so basically uh, for example uh, it states that like whenever a can node sends a five bits of same logical level let's say for example if the can node is sending five ones or five zeros of the same logical level dominant or recessive it must send one bit opposite level uh, the next bit like that five bits of same level then sixth will be automatically inverted 
so this uh, or, or, or this bit will be automatically removed uh, when it is uh, when the any can node will be receiving the uh, message but uh, but this helps to ensure the continuous synchronization of the network so basically we have five types of errors uh, uh, bit error uh, sorry uh, bit error stuff error foam error uh, crc error and acknowledgement error so i will explain you in detail what exactly it is uh, so basically bit error is like uh, when the bit is uh, received and is not the same bit as the bit was transmitted by the sender let's say i'm sending you one and you are uh, getting in between something happened and it got uh, in the dominant uh, let's say it got zero so every node that received the data read it from bit by bit from the bus and compares the transmitted bit value with the receive so the bit is transmitted and the bit received are not the same uh, then we will have the bit error then we have a stuff error uh, so basically bit stuffing as i told you uh, it's a process if more than five uh, consecutive bits are of same level then uh, we will have a stuff error uh, on the bus then we will have a foam error uh, so basically this refers to a fixed form of field let's say for example uh, we have like for every check we have like send um, uh, crc acknowledgement uh, end of frame we have a fixed frame format of that and uh, it has to be recessive bits only and if any dominant will automatically if dominant bit comes in between let's say if you see here we have some acknowledgement field end of frame so it's like fixed uh, like recessive bits will be there if any dominant will be bit will be there uh, then it will be a foam error then we have a crc error so basically the transmitting node will send a 15 bit crc value uh, on the bus as i told you in the starting only uh, like crc sequence we will be checking and whatever the sender is calculating and the receiver is calculating the crc if it is different then we will have the crc error then we will have a acknowledgement error uh, the last is acknowledgement error so the acknowledgement bit is defined as recessive always and the reply from the receiver is always the zero but in any case if the transmitter will not receive any dominant uh, if any acknowledgement bit is not raised then it will be termed as a acknowledgement error and basically uh, we have some error states also in uh, can we have error active error passive and buzz off so error active it's like uh, if uh, a node is sending uh, starts a uh, error active mode so can controller will assume like uh, it's a normal error active so basically we have two counters uh, transmit error counter and receive error counter so if transmit error counter uh, goes beyond 127 and receive error uh, error counter uh, is greater than 127 then the active node will transmit a active error flag in this case then we have error passive so uh, what we will have error passive will indicate like if the uh, if both these counters are more than 127 then we will have error passive and buzz off it will be buzz off it's like a condition uh, where if you have seen the can uh, uh, cable or anything uh, we will we can create the buzz off scenario by uh, shorting the pin 2 and 7 if we will short that can will automatically stops and um, uh, the node whoever is the sender or whichever the node it will go to buzz off and it will automatically uh, remove from the bus so these are the can errors basically so these uh, are the thing uh, which i need to explain you today the basically the can uh, which i have explained you uh, whatever the basic is needed to understand the uh, vector tools uh, how we will configure the nodes uh, so basically these all things are important what i told you today so what you can do is you can uh, i will share you these uh, slides also and uh, you can go through it once if you are facing any doubts you can come back to me not a problem and uh, i will be available uh, you can ping me i will whenever i will get time i will uh, check and i will uh, reply you on whatsapp also it's fine for me so if you have any doubts still here you can ask so if you see here for example if i have two id 654 sorry 445 so out of these two if they are sending uh, uh, anything on the bus which will win the bus so basically 445 will win the bus 
as lower the number higher will be the priority if for example if uh, let's say if you are getting in binary so 10 1111101110 uh, this is the number and uh, if you consider a, another 1101111111 one 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 and one and zero so here the case it will uh, check from here first bit is one okay it's fine second bit is zero it's fine till here it will check okay it's fine and whenever it will get zero here so this will win the bus will it will get the and it will be in listen only mode uh, as i shown you here uh, if you go here yeah so if you see here uh, see these three nodes are there so if you see till node uh, till uh, the seventh bit it has checked till seven bit and it is always the same for all these three but what happened at the sixth bit it is going to recessive and these both are in dominant so what it has done after six bit it goes to listen only mode it cannot send the data basically so these out of these two now it will decide whichever node has to win the bus so after that you see like um, if you see till the fifth bit it's same uh, it's both are dominant or node 2 and node 3 and from bit 4 uh, these are going to uh, recessive uh, like uh, for example if you see it's still third till 3 it's recessive but here it is going again to recessive but here it is a dominant it's going to zero again so out of these two again it will go to listen only mode and uh, node 2 will win the bus uh, so hope you understand this thing andy now mm, somehow yeah as i will watch again i, I should be able to get uh, maybe it. Uh, yeah, yeah you just watch this slide again i will share you and then if you have doubts you can come back okay you say on the third bit on the th for mode for node number two and number three on the third on the third bit node number two is still active that's mean one and yeah, both of them yeah, remain recessive. yeah they, and, and then not three here. remains and then not two goes to zero and then zero lower get the priority of the message priority. and, then and it will send out. the data and this yeah. will okay. uh, come back for the like uh, just listen only correct listen. what okay. your understanding is correct fine Good. okay that makes sense all right thank you mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> When it comes to software, uh, are you going to support like for canoe and canalizer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will, I will, I will. Uh, so maybe I will uh, list down for tomorrow's topic as well. 